playoffs to being right there in the middle of the pack when it comes to seeding. The problem will get it first. Takes it from his own one. Renfro. Renfro. Let's go, Renfro. Hello. <laughs> 30, 20, 10 by oh, Felicia. And, you know, we always call problem the greatest Madden player of all time. You, you've heard us, you know, beat you over the head with this story. But one thing that has allowed him to get to that level is his consistency. And not just offense, not just defense, but all three phases of the game. He's always been an amazing special teams player. And that was a great example of it to open up this game against True. And if you're True, you have all kinds of momentum. You're coming into this game hot. You've, you know, clinched your playoff berth. And problem just kind of puts a needle on the balloon to let the air out. <laughs> True trying to match the 99-yard kick return. Look at it. Took it from inside as one. It's good stick work, too. This is like what you talk about with Drini. No ball carrier moves necessary. Just fall, good old-fashioned follow your box, control that left stick correctly, and then you're off to the races. Well, we know Rimfro can run 100 yards in about nine and a half seconds. Good. He was untouched. And they'll set their audibles. What's the playbooks? So the playbooks we got here. Give me a second, Scott. Look through your Rolodex. I need to go yeah. outside. It's under P for playbooks. You got True is rocking the Arizona Cardinals yeah. offense, which I don't I'll believe he's out. lost I'll that since he switched to that playbook I bet, I this season. I thought you were doing audible. Problem in that play. Seattle yeah. Seahawks you good? Right. offensive playbook with the Baltimore defense. True's staying consistent running that New England Patriots defense that we've seen him lock people up with, especially towards the end of the season. We saw you up there getting the recon and. Anytime you see RG floating around these players, it's all about notes, nuggets, playbooks, and then roster changes. And, you know, not just calling the games. Obviously, watching the competition is amazing. It's one of the best things. But for me personally, one of the coolest things is when these, you know, guys, the new faces, the faces, you know, you, you've met and you've known to love, when, when they come out here and you, you get to hang out, you get to go to dinner, you spend time with them. You learn about their story. You learn that you guys got so much in common. And for me personally, that's the type of things that make these trips that much better and just keep you wanting to come back for more. It's all, all these amazing people that, that, that you get to meet. All right, here we go. Second and eight, and he's hit. He's going to bring up a third down. I don't think we mentioned this enough, you know. There's a lot of guys out there playing Madden right now. You got your 94 overall team, 95. You're, you're geeked up. These guys are playing with about an 80 overall team. And you, you see a lot of stars out there, but a lot of positions you got to overcome because they tank them. Low cap players, Sam Shields, guys like that. So it's not all the way geeked. There's a lot of skill to operating with an 80 overall team. Yeah, that, that's what salary cap's all about. Let's go! Oh, Should have been big. Oh, problem. It's going to be a big fourth down. But as you alluded to, oh, in salary cap, you have to have weaknesses. Now, there is a mode in mud. Oh, look at that. Clinch's division and a first round bye with the win. So you, Does problem. In case you didn't think this game mean anything, there you go. There Boom. it is. You got a motivated problem, right? Going up against True Boy. And yes. <laughs> You make the playoffs, you, you guarantee yourself $12,500, which is a $2,500 jump. Oh, my goodness. And I guarantee you Problem knew that fact before we did. And uh-oh. Little technical difficulty there. So we, this is why we play two games at once. Let's fly over to the other side, check in on Joke and Chaos. And a nothing, nothing game. And Joke has the ball at the 50. Justin Chow's got some work to do over there between. I, I think problem before, and true. before it cut off, though, you were making a really good point about problem. Oh yeah, he he already knew those scenarios way yeah. before we did. And, and that and that's one of the, he he has that down 
he's mastered that. So if he's ever in a tournament, whether it's Brown Robin or Arthur's point differential, he's right up there with Donnie Moore where he's veteran and professional enough where he has gone through every single scenario and knows exactly what he needs to do. Like you said, a lot of the time he has this information before we even have this information because that's how on top of this stuff it is. He takes this like a business, he takes it extremely serious, and he doesn't leave any checkbox unchecked. And yeah, when it came to like MCS points and who would be the, the top guys to make it in, he already knew. Yeah. He already knew the scenario, already knew where he needed to go what games he needed to win, and he went out and got him. I mean, if you, you asked us a couple months ago, we would be like, oh. Rob's got a lot of work to do to make this ultimately. Yeah, and that, then he caught fire. That was what was funny is he, he, saw, he saw him. He didn't make the Madden Classic. He didn't make the Madden Challenge. And nobody was used to seeing that. You know, there's a lot of buzz around Skimbo at that time because he's making some runs. People are questioning the problem was washed up which is, which is un ridiculous but then he goes to that club championship represents those charges makes it all the way to the finals that's where he secured his spot spotted spotted for this ultimate league just had to watch that play real quick and turn it over on downs castle out of the ball and then he gets in the ultimate league and here he is currently number one in the standings one game away from getting a buy securing himself twenty thousand dollars and just continuing to add to his legacy. He had to win that tournament in Vegas. On the PlayStation side of things. Yeah, he also won that Challenger event. And that would propel him. And those Challenger events, they're no joke because unlike these tournaments where you have to qualify, you have to go through a grind, and only the people that go through that process make it there, those Challenger Underground events are open to any players in the world. So essentially you have all the top Madden players flooding to these locations and uh, doing battle with each other. And when you, when you could win a tournament like that with all those great players there, it's just something special. And that's been business as usual for problem the last few years. And there you go, Joke with some defense. Joke says, pay attention to me, I'm walking up. Add to that, I was checking in at our hotel. And, the, you know, the guy said Madden, you know, the, the, the group of rooms are under. He said, you're not the, you're not the guy that talks. You're not the, you're, are you that, are you the same guy? And I'm like, yeah, the guy, yeah, the guy that talks. And he's like, I can beat Skimbo. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, guy, settle down. And I'm like, well, he's like, I got a 94 overall team. You know, he was geeked up, but he's like, I don't know how to get involved. What can I do? How can I get there? And I said, hey, you're here in L.A. You need to drive a couple hours up to Vegas and see what you got. Yeah, you, you constantly need to be looking at like the Madden, the NFL Madden websites. You need to go follow Madden League Ops on Twitter. And every year when the game drops, they're going to start telling you what you need to do. Whether it's go to one of those challenger events, play a certain mode online to climb that ladder. A lot of the times what happens is you play online in a specific mode, whether it be much salary cap or a much draft mode, depending on what season it is. And then the top 64 players or so on the leaderboard for each council get put into a special online tournament where they play down to see who makes these live events. So you could qualify for these types of live events from the comfort of your own home, which is something that's amazing to me. And then for the guys that, you know, want to do it all out in one in a, in a day and, you know, get those series points, That's you can chaos. show up to those challenger events and, and, and get it in in one day in a live in-person event on break teams. It's really an outlet for everybody. Uh, the system's not really designed for you to be able to do everything because there's so much going on. It can't be everywhere. So nothing, nothing. Here at the end of the first between Joke and Chaos. And we'll move on to the second quarter in a 0-0 game. And, you know, that's how Chaos, you know, we were talking about the Challenger events earlier. That's how Chaos started his run. He kicked a bomb of a field goal against Sirius Mo in Philly at Nerd Street. And that's how he got to the majors, made some moves, collected some points, and had enough to get in 
to the Ultimate League. Yeah, for the Madden Classic specifically, four, four out of the eight competitors for that major live event, which is the first live event of the season, got their spot by winning those challengers. There was four sanctioned challengers where the winners of those events actually got to go to a live event. So you really got to skip all that online elimination type stuff. And like you said, Chaos won one of those. I think it was Stevie J won one. Chaos. Chaos. Please. Squeeze down in El Paso. There's one more. And I'm on a blank. Was it up in New York? You give me one second. Up, it had to be up in New York. Skimbo. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Skimbo Michael the Skimbo. Yeah, Skimbo. I think I've heard of him. Yeah, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> No, he won the first tournament of the year. Yeah, he, Skimbo he came and off of winning in. last year's Madden Championship <laughs> belt for 100000 Went to the first Challenger event, wins it, secured a spot for the Madden Classic, and then went on to win the Madden Classic. Right. And that's, you know, a big part of that type of consistency over these last several years is what's propelled people to, you know, call him the current number one player. They put him in the running as one of the few people who they feel could potentially one day catch problem in credentials to get involved in that GOAT talk. And, and so it's a long-winded answer for me to say, hey, John, that works at our hotel, works the front desk. Oh. It's up to you now, buddy. It's, it's on you. We've <laughs> yeah. given you the path. Exactly. And that's the cool thing about, you know, eSports when it comes to Madden. When, when you, I do a lot of eSports. And, you know, first-person shooter games, all that kind of stuff. You really got to be a part of an organization, a team to even have the opportunity to play with Madden. I mean, it's 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 literally an open open field, open tournament, open competition from the get-go. Yeah, a lot of these guys that end up getting matched up against Problem got into Madden by just watching his streams and seeing him on TV. And then before you know it, you, you set some goals, you commit yourself to making one of these events. You matched oh. up, lined up across from him, playing for big bucks, gaining all kinds of experience. And I couldn't agree with you more, Scott. That's one of the main things that makes esports, and especially Madden esports, so special. It, it, it's really an outlet for anybody to set a goal, try to accomplish it. And if it's a dream of yours, you can chase it. I, I went through that same exact process, and I couldn't be more thankful and happy for those opportunities I was given by John Madden Football and EA Sports. So chaos here on second and ten. Let's give you the scenarios if you're just joining us here. Chaos has already been eliminated from playoff contention. And really for Joke, it's going to come down to his matchup versus Drini. We'll have to see if he is able to secure some sort of situation, a high seed, and perhaps maybe even a bye. Yeah, exactly. I talked to Joke right before this game up on stage and I said, you know, how are you feeling about this one? He said, hey, this game's really just for $1,000. He's like, yeah, I want the 1000 But he's very focused on his game versus Drini because he knows that is most likely going to be the match that determines who's going to get one of those buy spots. Yeah, we, didn't mean to, we didn't mean to go all talk show on you. We're not, we're not going to open up the phone lines. But we had a few things to get off our chest. A lot of, a lot of people ask us a lot of questions. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And that's really EA's mantra when it comes to competitive gaming. It's not just Madden, it's FIFA, Battlefield. So, really a different way of doing things. Than right, it's maybe traditional eSports, but be right there. I'm ready to see some UFC 3. <laughs> That's right. I like that. You would you call some UFC with me if sure. they gave us the chance? I would just let you go. I would, I would, I would throw a couple of height and weights out there, and I would just let you go at I it. I like watching <laughs> high level UFC. You, you could catch me in those guys' streams. I, I thoroughly enjoy that stuff. I think that's a phenomenal game. And if you could find a way to balance it out for competitive. You know, it needs to get balanced. If, there, if you guys are looking for a caster and you're watching, I wouldn't <laughs> mind. I, usually I wouldn't want to do anything other than Madden, but if there's one other game I think Let them rip. you'd have a good time doing it some UFC. Hashtag free RG. And you get rolls out to the 44. That's double meaning. Like, you know, sets you free to do UFC and also you'd be doing it for free. <laughs> Giving you a hard time. Hey, give me a couple tickets. Let me get a couple tickets to go see, see a Diaz brother fight. Call it, Deal. Call it even. Call it even.
So first to 10 for Chaos. And we're very, very close to getting back into that problem true game after the, the glitchiness over there got ironed out by our tremendous staff and our head admin, Justin Chow. And that's where we're going to go right now. First and 10 for problem, four minutes to go. And remember, the GOAT ran it back 99 yards on the opening kickoff, and that's how we got to 7-0. And True had to turn it over. And now it's back with problems. Got to reset the audibles all over again. Remind the folks at home what these playbooks are again. Got True Boy in that Arizona offensive playbook running the New England defense Patriots playbook. For problem, he's in the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook and that Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. And, you know, one thing I do want to call out, especially about these two players in general, is it's a long season, right, Scott? Guys are going to watch tape on you. They're going to adjust to what, what's going on. And we, we've seen a lot of that. Problem and True have probably been the best about switching their playbooks and their game plans based on their opponent. We've seen several different game plans on both offense and defense from the both of them. And I think that's resulted in a lot of their success. This is a different style format than people are used to. And I think you need to take advantage of that. If you can, you need to show up to this tournament being able to run a multiple types of different offense and playbooks. That way if you feel someone's very keen and ready for what you're doing, you can at least make that adjustment and give them a new look that you're effective out of. Problem and True Boy have done a fantastic job of that all season long. So first and 10 at the 41. Notice he's not using Leonard Fournette. Back to that Henry after Fournette had fumbled three times in three games. And he found himself in Problem's doghouse. And I loved Problem's reaction when Adrian asked him about those fumbles. He said, you know what, I get a lot of trucks, I, I get a lot of big runs, and you know, if I'm trying all those moves and stuff, fumbles just come with the territory. And, and that just shows a senior type mentality when it comes to Matt, and he just, you know, he knows the risk reward, he's accepted it, and he's willing to, you know, go along with the circumstances he's given. A lot of these players talk about what they deserve and don't deserve. Well, it goes both ways. And, and problem for 14 years, he's just had one of the better attitudes when it comes to this game. He, he knows how to win with grace, he knows how to lose with grace, he's been in every single situation, and he, he just seems to handle himself the right way all the time, which, which also just adds to his legendness. Had the playmaker be up the seam there in the middle of the field. But got caught up in the pocket. This run, that, that problem's going on here. You know, as he chases this by in the playoffs. You call him the greatest of all time. Oh, wow. Oh, good scramble. Oh, wow. And it's because he is. He has the credentials to do it. But in this modern era, a lot of the younger guys that have just been watching competitive Madden for the last two or three years yet, they're yet to see him win that major championship. As a matter of fact, they've seen him lose in the finals four times. He's tied with Skimbo for making the most finals in this era, which if anyone else did it, we'd crown him. We'd be like, man, that guy's insane. He made four finals. But for a problem, it's championship or bust, and he's yet to get that belt. And, and watching this journey of him trying to get over the hump and establish himself in the new school, it, it's just a lot of fun to watch. and it, Very dramatic, and it's just a great storyline. So at the end of one, it's a 7 nothing game between Problem and True. You mentioned a lot at stake here for Problem. Trying to clinch that bye. Over here on the other side, start of the second. Excuse me, 15 seconds left in the second. And a nothing, nothing game. If you have trouble sleeping later on tonight, you might want to watch this one back. It's two defensive players. Not a lot of offense. And, you know, Joke's one of the best players in the world. And I think Joke doesn't, you don't want to, if, if you're truly setting up for a key matchup versus Drini, you don't want to show a lot here either. And Joe's smart enough to know that type of thing. He, he's very aware of all situations, much like problem. He's very schematic in the way he approaches the game. 
But to be real, his offense hasn't been lights out. It's not what's winning them ball games. It's usually his preparation and his defense. But we, we've seen we've seen him struggle on offense a bit this season. We know chaos. He took him a while. I, I think he didn't score his first offensive touchdown until about the game eight, four. Or five. <laughs> right. Yeah. It was. It was, yeah. it was rough. Five field goals against Bees in week one. And Game one of the season. Ended up beating Problem, who might be the number one seed. And to be honest, that kind of woke up the monster at Problem. He was cruising a little bit, lost to Chaos of all people in the league, and that made him angry. You know, Bruce Banner kind of moment. Yeah, you, you won't like Problem when he's angry, too, especially if you're going up against him on. The virtual gridiron of Madden football. Stretches it outside. And that will end the half between Chaos and Joke. Three to nothing. Well, the start of the second quarter between Problem and True in a 7-0 ball game has seeding implications for both of these gentlemen. And Problem has a touchdown lead here in Division B of the Legend Conference. Ball up to six for problem. Third down. Delaney gets in there for six. And all of a sudden, problem's got a little cushion over True. Well, that's a big touchdown right there for Prob because you know he knows how to play stellar defense. And True Boy, his offense isn't the greatest. It's not the prototypical offense to come back when you're down multiple possessions. True has got an offense where he wants to control the game, control the clock, run the ball. And when you're down two scores to a guy like Problem, you can sometimes find yourself in a, a trap where you, you, you got to get out of your game plan. And it's not a good look for True. Last place you want to be at is a situation where you, you got to pass the ball a lot versus Problem, and he knows it. Looking on the defensive side of the ball for Problem here, you can see all those substitutions he's making. And this 3 4 odd setup, then he drops down and does the same. Yep. Down in a 3-3-5 three, three, of that's, the nickel formation. That's because on the other side, True's setting up his audibles. Yeah, and that's the coaching adjustments these guys got to make. We always talk about the strategy and, you know, salary cap. It's not just about what, you know, you do with your stick skills and stuff. You, you got to know where you want to put your personnel, how you want to oh. set up your defenses, you know, what audibles do you want to bring to the line of scrimmage. And that's all stuff that goes <laughs> down here at the – play call screen before, before you even ever snap the ball. Uh, here we go. Green, 30, uh, here. For example, you'll have some linebackers that you just don't want to have them in coverage, especially like in a 3-4 front. You maybe want to substitute them over to the, the edges, keep them on the rush. Yes. Get your Anthony Barr there in the middle. You know, he's normally on the edge. You move him to the middle there, and he sort of a, becomes that user middle linebacker for you, and that time problem was out of position. That's a good example of the taking a guy like Anthony Barr, taking him out from that outside linebacker position, moving him to the middle linebacker because that's the position a lot of players like to use or control and give yourself a six foot five phenom to run around the field with and make plays. Good stop. They're on the outside for problem. That's gonna bring up a second and 12. Oh, it's Josh Carraway, 60 overall center. Silver, excuse me, making the play. And here comes the heat. Brown in there with a the sack, third and 18. Yeah, this is exactly what we're talking about, Cole. You, you get yourself in a situation against problem where you got to start passing the ball, and he knows you're in that situation. He's going to send the dogs. 
put pressure on you and make you make a quick read, which isn't a lot of fun when he's running around lurking that middle of the field with Anthony Barr. You can expect Barr to most likely get an interception before this game's over. Motion to the outside. That's Bo. Ingram on the other side. Up under center is Young. Young scrambling. Throwing into coverage, and oh my. Right there, right when we're calling for the Anthony Barr interception. You see problem, he goes up, runs right with the route. Right in position, just can't strafe up and pick it off in time. He had the right idea, but just wasn't able to execute the interception. There at the middle linebackers, he's running two double nickels. That's two only, number 55s. And what happened, to that's always one of the most frustrating things that can happen to you as a Madden player. Is you pick right and you go and lurk exactly where your opponent wants to throw, but you're just not able to put the stick skills together to execute the interception animation you need. So it's a bad feeling because you, you were more than halfway there. You just couldn't finish the job. Young. Looking, finding, what it's Bo! Oh! And we got a game here in L.A. The true so showing some emotion. He's not Ooh. laying down for nobody. He wants the extra rack of room. He wants the better seating. And that's a big touchdown to get himself back in this ball game. 14 to 7 now. Problem had the big kick return, so you got to be careful. And he's going to kick it away again and test Renfro. And this time Renfro can't get away. Stopped at the 32. Look at this dot again. Oh my. Yeah, just right in between all the zones. Finds the green spot of the field. Just a good execution by Drew. Good play call. Henry into the secondary. Down at the 47, just shy of the 50. First and 10. Going to the two minute warning, most likely. Brom will get to the line, take a look, and he'll take it to the two. Seven point game. First and 10 from the 47. Three timeouts for both of these guys. The problem with this, this stretch play, and this is what we talked about so much, Cole, that you see a lot from these runners. You, got, you come out in a single back type formation, you go to your audibles, you give yourself an outside run and an inside run. And based on the front you're given, that dictates what, what you call at the line of scrimmage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then when you can pass and get Icky out of the same formation, you're running the ball out of it's a problem. Wow. And that's what you see right there from problem. So down to first and goal. This is a second and nine play. Threw a bullet. Made a man miss. And now he's deep in the red zone. So we talked about a, a win for problem here. We're give him a first round bye in the playoffs, clinched the division. There is a long shot scenario for True that if he would win this game versus Problem, and then Problem take two straight L's to end the season. Of course, he faces Dubby next. They would come down to point differential to see who perhaps would clinch its division. So there's still a lot out there to play, even for True. So you're telling me True has a chance. still has a chance for this bye. I don't know if he's got a chance for the bye. I know he's got a chance for the, for the division. For the division. So the, the two guys that would be on top of it, maybe Trini and Joke? I mean, pretty much the guys that are vying for this buy is Problem, Drini, Joke, and Dubby. Dubby's the one on the outside looking in. Got you. So 21-7. I came straight from the nerd cave. Can you imagine a situation where Dubby and Problem are matched up in their last game of the season, both battling for that buy? Let's get a game update. Well, talking about battling for buys, we know Joke is in the mix. He's going up top deep to Warfield to the one-yard line, Rico. Not to be outdone, he's making sure that everybody knows he's no joke. That's right, 7-3, end of the third quarter here. Well, Joke's got a big game coming up versus Trini. 
Isn't that going to be a treat? <laughs> and Bo Jackson fights to the 26. 55 seconds left in the half, trailing by 14. True out of timeouts, but does have the ball. Even three here would be worth something. Oh, pancake. Oh, no, pancake no. up front. Oh. Can oh. Gurley add the zero? Oh. Sipping on some scissor down to the 35. <coughs> Can we say that? Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, I'm from the streets. Hey, look I might at not this. look like it. That's stick work, though. I'm from like Atlanta, move. GA. He's, he's running out of time, though. He has no timeouts. 20 seconds left. Runs the ball right there. He needs to be careful. This clock's kicking. You need to at least try to get yourself three points. Only 10 seconds. No time. Got to get to the sideline here. Taking too much time here. And he throws oh, a pick. All the way, pick six. Might All the go way. the other way. There's All Rod the Day. He oh, shoved him no. in just for this Let's game. Go. And Problems got a new barber. Oh, and he, like, that's the sub he made from Malcolm Butler. Throws in Rondé Barber who gets the huge pick six and True's face says it. If there's something you want to do to lose John Madden football games, it's give your opponent three points before the half when you could have got some points of your own. That's devastating. 28 to 7. And what you just saw was the dagger. Back here at the start of the third, take a look at that play oh, right before the, the end way, of the Barbara. half. Rondé Barber from the Yuccaneers. Going to take it to the house. Just looking for that X receiver on the outside. The clock was ticking, so he needed to throw it toward the sideline to try to Let's get go. out of bounds. Problem as the cloud flat just sitting there waiting. And if you're true, I know you had to rush the play. You, the clock was ticking. You needed to get it out of bounds. But that was the last thing you could let happen was the pick six. If I had to put a hashtag on that, it would be hashtag sadness. Let's fly over to the other side. We got Joke and Chaos battling it out in Chaos's final game. Joke's still got another one to go. Going to play Trini. Okay. Joke's got some funny postures over there. Huh? There's many <laughs> postures of Joke anytime you get him on camera. Seven to three in this one. Chaos has been playing spoiler here late, but uh, there's nothing really for him to spoil. Maybe Joke's thoughts of having an outside shot of a bye. That's about it. Yeah, he looks deep in thought there. What do you think Echo Fox Joke is pondering? Is it just running through the dreamy game plan, maybe? Thinking about all the things that could have been <laughs> for Joke. He's had a couple mysterious reads over the last couple months. And he's been locked in at the end of the season. We, again, we're going to dinner last night. The text joke said, hey, you coming? He said, no, nope, me and Safa, we're, we're laughing. We're getting ready for the end of the season. I said, you know what? you got to respect that. If there's ever a good reason to turn down free splues, it's Did you send him a picture of the sweet chili wings? They still passed, huh? Yeah, those sweet fried chili wings. Don't get me, don't get me started on the sweet wings. <laughs> In the fourth quarter, by the way, here. 4.45 to go in this one. Ball at the 48. Trailing by four is chaos, but he does have the ball. Trips to the left. And the shotgun with Mariota. Omaha's for days. get out of the pocket and uh, Leonard Williams cool. will bring him down for the sack of the 50-yard line. Defense by Joke. I'll tell you one thing about those sweet Thai chili wings and then I'm done. <laughs> if, you're ordering your, if you're ordering your wings and you're not getting them extra crispy, sure. you're doing it wrong, all right? So I'm going to say, you got them soft, them soft, non-extra crispy wings, I don't want to do business. Well, there's two things in life. 
You got to get your wings and your bacon crispy. Don't don't give me that sad bacon. You ever had problem bacon with the brown sugar? I know you're a double double dipper on the wings though. Makes me nervous. That, yeah, I really. think that's your plan because you don't have to share. Yeah, don't bring that stuff up. You don't want to get Rico going. He, he was laying. <laughs> Don't get Rico going on that subject. That's all I'm going to say. First and 10 at the 37. Ronnie Locke coming up with a big hit. It's going to be a gain of four. That's going to bring up a second and six. 7-3 over here in the fourth quarter. They're just joining us. Problems currently up 28-7 over True in the third quarter. That's the situation. If your problem and you secure your buy already, you get matched up against W. Well, just so you don't have FOMO, we're going to give you a little double box action here. It's true. has worked his way down in the red zone. I'm curious if your problem you're playing W, is the $1,000 enough to make you go just completely play your best game? Absolutely. If you're playing so W, you got a chance to sweep W for the season? I mean, it's true. He's a, he's a prideful guy. But, you know, that's the type of player. He laughs a lot with Skimbo. You might see him again later in the playoffs. I don't know how many real looks you want to give him. You know, I'll ask well, he might the go, season. I, 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 sometimes you yeah. see teams do that at the end of the season. You, you try out some different things. Maybe you try some different players. That touchdown makes it a two-score game, so not out of the woods yet is problem. <laughs> You want to crown him, you can crown him. <laughs> we still got a couple couple minutes to go over in that one. Yeah, there's plenty of time for it only being a two-score game. You know, True Boy plays good defense. The issue is problem just so methodical at getting first downs and killing the clock in those types of situations. It's one of his strong suits, one of his many strong suits. I could listen to a Denny Green press conference or a Mike Singletary press well, conference. They are who we thought they were. <laughs> I can't win with him. Uh, I'm still waiting for, for, for our like uh, Adrian to get one of those interviews. We, we, we need the question that's going to We need a trigger question. I need a vintage interview. Someone cut the promo. Why is he getting we have a hero a amongst us. Why? It's a spy. The hero we don't deserve, but the hero we need. Third and three at the 11. Chaos trying to take the lead. Five, inside five. zone. And you heard Chaos all torn, uh, throughout this tournament, he, he, he's talked about how he's fumbled on that conservative ball carrier adjustment, uh, which really protects your chance from fumbling. It makes it possible to, you, it's still possible to fumble when on that conservative ball carrier coaching adjustment. But for Chaos, when he's got Matt Breida, who's only a 76 overall as his halfback. Which I think is just, for salary caps, a complete failure. Yeah, well, the point is, too, yeah, he's not going to be, even on conservative, Breida's not going to be immune from some of those big hitters that these guys have. So, as sure, it's going to help your chances, but you, you can't go out there with a 76 overall guy and think you're going to be immune from th those big hits. It, it's just not going to happen. You could be on conservative, super conservative, whatever you want to call it. He just makes me laugh. He's like a cartoon character. Every time I look at Chaos, all the reactions and emotions. Now if I got like a 99, he could read it right off. But now if I got like a big fourth down, if I got like a 99 carry Le'Veon Bell. Sure. And I'm on conservative. Then I, I expect to not fumble that rock. Clutch first down. He's going to put it down to the one yard line, which has been Struggleville. But just about everyone in this league. This is a getting interesting over here in this Joe Chaos game. And he's running all the way down. Might benefit him not to get in right here. Yeah, make Joke use those timeouts. 60 seconds to go. Can Chaos get to a third win and two of those be joke and problem. Just for the three wins, he made $10,000 for showing up to the Ultimate League. Three wins gets you an additional three grand. When you're in college, you know, you get sure. 13 grand. That, that, that's not bad. And that, that, that doesn't even count as 
Matt, the Challenger event winnings and the Madden Classic winnings that he got earlier in the season as well, as well as some winnings for making that final four of the Ravens Club Championship. So for a young college student, Chaos has had some come-ups this season. And he punches it in. Speaking of come-ups. So that'll give him the lead. The extra point will make it three with 50. Six seconds to go. It was a 15-play, 62-yard drive that took up nearly five minutes. That goes joke to no, no timeouts, 56 seconds. And this is a really good test for Joke's offense, which hasn't been clicking the way I know he would like it to this season. This season. No timeouts. Has to get in the field goal range to extend this one. So this is an interesting drive. I'm, I'm happy to watch this drive here from Joe. Let, let's see. And with 52 seconds in this type of situation, this is where you just got to run your best stuff, Scott. Gets it to the middle of the field, so you're going to have to go tempo right here at the 37. Yeah, and there's, there's no more setup plays. There's no, no more, you know, trying to catch you off guard. You got to run your best plays and just get down the field. Smart gets the long gain and then just goes right to that flat. It's ticking though. He wanted but he to didn't get, out, get of out of bounds. He didn't get out of bounds there. We talked to Tom Moore, Peyton Manning's former offensive coordinator and assistant head coach for the Cardinals the last few years. That's what he told us. He said, you want to see football in its purest form, watch a team run the two-minute drill because that's when all the nonsense goes out the window and you just got to bring out your best stuff. Go. The joke just can't again. get out of bounds though. It's ticking. Ten. Eight seconds. Got to go the end zone. And that's ball game. Oh, yeah, Chaos gets the extra rack of room. Well, he only has three wins, but two of them are against Joke and Problem. So Chaos standing tall. Let's go back over to the other side. Speaking of Problem, he's got the ball, and he's got a 14-point lead here to start the fourth quarter. And he's got a big third and 12. Carson Wentz. Running, 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 oh, running. Got room. Hurt. Slides down. Stays in bounds at the 28-yard line. Clock would have still moved. How about the poise right there on that rollout? Just patient. Rolls oh. to the flat where he can turn that back into a blocker. Follows it perfectly. Good stick work up the sideline. Big first down. And he's just going to kill this clock. Run the ball and kill the clock here. Double tight end. Big hit from Von Miller on Derrick Henry. That was, he was a big hit. You want to see a kajow? Bam. Got to at this point. Got to force a turnover. But Derrick Henry, we talked about that conservative ball carry, and you get a premier running back like Derrick Henry, real tough guy. Barely unlikely. Yeah, and I got to see his carry rating because, you know, say, say Derrick Henry only has a 88, you know, let's call it an 85 carry rating, right? You, you put it on conservative, you get hit by, let's say, a 96 hit power, 99 hit power, Sean Taylor, Brian Dawkins. It's probably still a small chance, you, you, you know, that ball can come out. Not likely, but I'd say it's possible. Problem. This is the playoff version of Derrick Henry. And he's got a carry rating of 90. It's up and it is good. I've got this thing called the Mudhead app. It's on my phone. Maybe you've heard of it. Mudhead. <laughs> Mudhead the God. G-A-W-D. Rockets and crew out of, out of control. And they've done players that have played in their style of seasons before because they you know they sometimes they do their mud head league that's where some of these players have gotten that type of league play type experience like joke i actually like the league play i would prefer it over the group stage in fact oh when you have time to do it it's sure it's phenomenal Detroit! Detroit! It's a whole new aspect it's a difference when you got a couple months between a 
Yeah, the difference between a weekend. <laughs> I think from a viewer's point of view, you really get to learn about these players. You, 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 you get to pick, you know, you see the guys that you want to root for, who you, who you like week in and week out. You get to pick sides. And I think it's great. Can, I mean, can I get real with you again? The winner of the whole thing, the whole ultimately, takes the belt. Biggest championship of all time? Yeah, I in the history of Madden football. I think so. I, I, I've said that myself. I, I think this is, you know, we've had a lot of really big, good three by two, a lot of really big tournaments, a lot of prestigious belts, but this, this is a part of history. You, you expect the Ultimate League to be something that's going to be here, hopefully for a long time and years to come. And if you could be the first one ever to hoist that Ultimate League belt, that, that's, just, that's just something very, very special. Just a reminder, Problem will get a bye in the playoffs and win his division. That's Division B of the Legend Conference with the W, if he can hold on. This will be the two-minute warning. Has a playmaker, and it's picked off. Perfect timing. Rondé Barber is ruining True's life right before her eyes. Well, you think it was a good idea to sub out Malcolm <laughs> Butler and put in that Rondé Barber? In the Super Bowl, no. Here in this game, yes. And here he is. Watch. B button. Problem switches on. Strays and picks it off himself. Use a pick. We talk about that a lot, Cole. The, the more Click you on. can do stuff yourself as a user and not let the AI do it for you, that's a big deal. And, you, you know, especially in a game in Madden football where there's always going to be 10 AI controlled players on the field and you only have that one user controlled player that you can take control of throughout the play. You got to do the most with most you can with that. Well, this game's sort in the fridge, so let's take a moment, go over to Adrian Lawrence, who's standing by with Chaos. Chaos, congratulations, you had a good run. Three and seven, 13 grand you get to take home. How was it? Uh, it was good. Um, things didn't go my way the first couple of days. Um, caught some bad breaks in some close games. Um, struggled against 146 the entire weekend, uh, but I was able to come in today. I did well against 146 today, and I was able to get two wins. All right, and for your Ultimate League experience, what do you plan to take with you to prepare for hopefully next season? Honestly, it was just an awesome experience. Um, I got to play against the best mountain players in the world. Um, I had a successful season. Um, I uh, it was my first like full year com playing competitive Madden. I made two live events, so I'm just going to take the experience, enjoy it, and uh, try to be more prepared next year. All right, well, wish you the best. Back to you guys. Yeah, good luck at Coppin State. See if the Eagles can get something going in their basketball season. Well, this was a final problem with the dub over True, and it was a interception fest. You can get your T-shirt in the lobby. Well, all right, with that win for Problem 31 to 14, that clinches the Division B in the Legend Conference. And not only that, he now has a bye in the playoffs, doesn't have to go through a crazy game in, that, in those beginning stages, gets to wait. Then he's going to attack one less game to be able to get to the championship. Yeah, I, I believe if you think about it, besides, cancel out the W game, the last game of the season, since you know Problem's already clinched that bye. Once those playoffs starts, I believe he's only three wins away from winning that first ever belt that he's been chasing for, for so long. And, you know, that's history in the making. And he's had his, his eyes set on that. He's been a man on a mission. He's been so consistent. He's been so close. But that journey continues. And it's going to be a lot of fun to watch going into these Ultimate League playoffs. We've seen him make history many times before. It's going to be cool to see if he can do it once again. Well, speaking of problem, he's standing by with Adrian Lawrence. Problem, congratulations on your win over True. You did sweep him this season. Mm -hmm. What gave you that advantage to take the win each time? Um, I really played good defense in this, this second game. The first game was back and forth. Uh, came down to the last possession. This one I had control throughout. So, you know, I got a couple of uh, big scores early, like the kick return, starting the game off. That that just takes a lot of pressure off offense. And he's a defensive player. So when I can get an easy touchdown like that, it gives me an advantage. And now that you have the bye and you're moving into the playoffs, what's going to be your mentality and outlook as you enter that section of the season? Yeah, one game at a time. Um, I get to watch everyone play today. 
see what they don't like, what they and then what they like, and and adjust my game, and hopefully, you know, I could come out on top. All right. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you. Back to you guys.